The Colossal Cave, released in 1976, set the pattern for a type of game known as a text adventure. Created by Will Crowther, a programmer and caver, and later expanded by Don Woods, The Colossal Cave was written in the Fortran programming language and it ran on a PDP-10 mainframe computer. The game puts the player into an underground world filled with treasures and other objects. By entering one or two word commands, the player can move around the game, taking treasures and solving puzzles. In the late 70s, several other programmers wrote their own text adventure games. The next really big game was Zork. This too was written for a PDP mainframe and it took place in an underground empire of caves and tunnels. Zork was created at MIT by Dave Liebling, who was a staff member, two graduate students, Tim Anderson and Bruce Daniels, and another student, Mark Blank. They wrote it in a language called MDL, or Muddle, which was a Lisp-like AI language developed at MIT. Later, Zork was released commercially by Infocom and rewritten in Zill, another Lisp-like language, optimised for writing games. Following Zork, Infocom released many other successful games, such as Trinity, Starcross, and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Infocom called their games interactive fiction. They accepted moderately complicated commands, such as put the pepper into the sack. Other companies, such as Magnetic Scrolls, released games that allowed even more complex commands. They also added graphics, and that was probably the beginning of the end for classic text adventures. Text adventures make great programming projects. You can program them in just about any language, and since adventure games are full of objects, such as rooms and treasures, an object-oriented language, such as Java, Ruby, or C Sharp, is a great choice. If you want to try programming an adventure game, go to the courses page of my channel and follow my series of lessons on that subject.